what inspired the play was I guess wanting to tell a story about somebody who was effectively sort of stuck in a moment. Being told you have to wait to live is like, like flickering in and out of existence. So as I was doing a lot of the research, I found a lot of information about particularly the LGBT community and also a lot of the LGBT community coming from African countries and what they have to go through when they arrive. They asked me to prove that I am gay. The character of Ishmael, wow, he is a young Zimbabwean man um, who has been outed as, as being gay um, and he is seeking refuge in the UK. He's, he's lost in a world that's unknown and he's left behind a world that he does know. Some of us were running. Some of us were fleeing. Some of us know wars that will never cease. Some of us were persecuted. Some of us were stripped and beaten. Some of us have scars that will never heal. Ishmael meets a lot of people. <laughs> um, when he starts going out and exploring Amli, um, he first comes across um, Kath and Brian. Grandmother falls in love with long lost grandson. And he also meets Bex and Bailey. Um, Bex is uh, very much a Leeds lass. Uh, very, very comical. I'm not seeing you here before. I tell her it is my new favourite place, but its beauty is long lost to her because then she says, Dog Shit Park is your favourite place. <laughs> um, he I goes to a club and he meets the wonderful Miss Marie Monroe. He, she, moves in closer takes me by the hand, tells me to dance, to let go, I'm awkward. The play really does take you on a journey. It takes you on a massive journey and there's so many twists and turns and very emotional points within the play. You, you reminded me of, of what it's like to feel good. You reminded me of, of what it's like to be a person and, it, and it's silly because well, you didn't even do anything. You just sat next to me and said hi. I think what's been wonderful in terms of the reactions of the audiences is that we're, we're getting both. We're getting people who are, are also starting to understand the immigration process via Ishmael's story. And I think that's become the really important thing is that people are starting to see the reality behind the headlines. I know you don't think it's much, but I would rather have this, this park, this place as it is now as my own. At least that I can hold it. People like Ishmael are not a fantasy and they're not these made up stories in the newspapers, they're real.